Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your latest video and today we are going to talk about accountability partners online. I've had a number of accountability partners online and they've helped me achieve a number of things. But here's the thing, on the flip side of that is that a number of them have dragged me down and held me back to a degree. So I want to help you uh, achieve what it is that you really want to achieve by helping you find the right accountability partner online so here's the thing watch to the end of this video or go ahead to the description below where you're going to find the downloadable guide on how to pick the right partner and how to establish the right partnership from the beginning to the end for the success of your partnership okay so what is an accountability partner online very very simple you've probably connected the dots between accountability partner an accountability partner online. Basically, accountability partner is someone that holds you accountable for whatever goals it is that you're actually wanting to achieve. Now, somebody online is very, very obvious it's because we don't necessarily have time, especially in this world, in this day and age where everybody has to work crazy hours in order to, you know, just get by. So finding the right accountability partner can be absolutely key to your success because it will motivate you in ways that you don't even think are possible. So. The finding someone online is, it can be an easy process, but I encourage you to download the guide in the description so that you know exactly step by step how to go about looking for one. Now I have had accountability partners online going back probably seven or eight years now, right? And some of them have really boosted me to achieve some things that I never thought I would achieve. They really encouraged me in times of difficulties and in times where I thought I wouldn't stick with it, I did it anyways because of my accountability partners, right? But on the flip side is that I've had people that have really demotivated me and sucked my energy away, which is why it's so important to establish the right relationship and to build it properly from the very, very beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some tips in this video. So being a good accountability partner really comes down to two things, okay? When they slip, pull them back, pull them up on it, right? So I'm not necessarily saying, you know, go ahead and be, you know, a, a dickhead about it. What I'm saying is go about and get them back on track saying, hey, how come you didn't get your, your you know, your first third workout in this week? You said you would, you didn't. Pull them up on it, okay? Because it's going to let them know that you're, you mean serious business and that you want them to, su to succeed as well, right? You need to show them that you actually care, that you give a damn because their success is also important to your success. And if you're going to commit time in communicating that you've achieved certain things for the week, or for the month, however you're choosing to do this, but I highly encourage weekly, then you need to pull them up when they don't actually do it and don't accept excuses, right? Get them, get them motivated, get them focused on what it is that they need to get done and ensure that they actually do, okay? okay? So tip number two to being a good accountability partner online. When they commit to doing something and don't, again, follow up on them. Make sure that you actually follow up, okay? So one thing is to pull them up when they fall short, Second thing is to actually follow up and make sure that they actually get done what they said that, that they really would. So the next topic is how to, how to find an accountability partner online. So this isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do because there are people all over the world and so many different processes and procedures in place that can really kind of get in the way. The biggest down thing for the majority of people is not having enough time to be able to achieve what it is that they really want to achieve. And this is where an accountability partner can really help pull you up. They can go, hey, look, that's bullshit. You said that you would get that workout in. You said you don't have an hour, but I see you posting that, you know, you watched you know, three movies tonight, you know, that's five hours you could have gotten the workout in. Again, you need to pull them up on it. I'm not saying you need to hound them at about every little thing. There are days that you're gonna to need to take off, but you need to make up for it, right? For example, my goal at the moment is to work out three times a week and then to increase it to four in the next two weeks. Last week, I just did not have the energy, I did not have the commitment, and I didn't get it done. I only got two workouts done instead of three. So I paid the price. And yes, that is our bonus tip for this video that I'll talk about later on. I paid the price for not making my three workouts per week commitment that I made, that I said that I, that I would actually get done. And that basically um, got me back on track where I've done two workouts already, one yesterday, one today, and I've still got five days left in the week. I'm gonna get four done, so four this week, plus two last week, that's three each week. I'm still making up for it in a relatively familiar time frame so that I'm not falling too far behind. Because think about it, if I, if I only do two in one week and then I take like a whole week off, and then I try and do four in a row, it might, it might be too much. 
and it'll offset me for the following week, right? So I'm trying to balance it back out. I'm trying to get back into control. This is a good um, pivot week for me as well because I said I wanted to up it until you know up until four in the next sort of two to three weeks. But hey, if I can show that I can do it this week, I'm just going to up it from here on out. Yeah, two weeks earlier, but I'm back on track. So this is an opportunity for me to grow and to be better at what it is that I'm actually trying to achieve. So when it comes to picking an accountability partner, I don't want to go through it here because it can be quite a process. I have learned a lot over the last seven, eight years in terms of people to look for and people to avoid, right? And I'm gonna show you each and every step. There are five steps that I think you should really follow to find the right accountability partner online. And there are five steps that you need to take to really establish a partnership for success. So if picking your accountability partner online is highly, highly important to you achieving what it is that you want to achieve. So here's our bonus tip for this video, right? Put some money on it, right? Not everyone is monetarily driven. I certainly am not. But if I if I know that, hey, if I don't get this one workout in, I'm gonna lose $10, right? I'm gonna give that $10 away, which is one of the keys to keeping you accountable and trusting. It's not about the money, it's about you being accountable. You'll start getting pissed off and the fact that you're losing something whilst not keeping a commitment to you that's gonna help you improve your life. It doesn't matter if it's health, if it's business, if it's um, fitness, right? If it's your relationship, if it's time with your kids, whatever it is that you're committing to doing, put some money on it. Say for example, $10 per week. Um, so the, the example that I'll give you is mine that I'm doing right now. If I don't get those three workouts in per week, each workout that I miss for that week is $10. So if I miss the entire week, if I take a whole week off, if I'm just being a straight up lazy ass, I have to pay $30, right? And I give it to my mother and she gets the money. She's happy, of course, you know, kind of sweet. It's a sweet and sour, sour sort of thing. She wants me to work out. She wants me to be healthy, but I'm happy to give her that $30, you know, because it helps her out a little bit, right? But it's, again, it's not about the money. I could give a fuck less about $30, right? That's nothing. What really matters is like, damn, why didn't I get those damn workouts in? And paying that money is a physical transaction, that a, a physical admission that I didn't achieve what I set out to achieve. And it's a disappointment on yourself. You pick yourself back up and you're ready to roar. So that's my bonus um, tip for this video is to go about putting some money on it. And again, it's not really about the money. It's more about keeping yourself accountable and having a physical transaction that you have to physically admit through money that I didn't achieve my goal. Here's the cash, okay? So look, what I'm gonna encourage you to do is make sure you download that guide so that you've got the five steps to picking the right partner, um, accountability partner online, and the five steps to establishing a successful online accountability partnership for, uh, for success, okay? So thank you so much for stopping by this video, watching this video. I really enjoyed putting this video together for you. If you did, then please go ahead and comment any questions you have below. So here's my question for you before you go. Do you have an accountability partner? If not, if you uh, if you don't, which of these steps that you're going to take that that you're actually that you're actually going to apply to your life to better yourself and where it is that you and help you achieve the goals that you really truly want to achieve? So thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Take care, much love, and I'll see you in the next one.